our materials and we used a brush to brush the horse, this to comb the reins, and hair stuff. And these are halters. These go around the horse's faces to lead them around. Horse treats. And saddle pads. They go under the saddle when they're on the horse. And this is a bridle. And this goes in their mouth. This is a bit. And this is a western saddle because it has a horn for ropes. And this is an English saddle. It's a cut back, specially made for gated horses. And this is a girth that goes under the horse. Both kinds of saddle have this. And this is a gated bridle. It has a different type of bit on it, especially made for gated horses. And this is a mini version of that. When a gated horse is moving, this leg and this leg both move together at the same time. And this leg and that leg both move together at the same time. But on, <laughs> but on a trotting horse, this leg right here and this leg right here move at, move at the same time. And this leg and this leg move at the same time. So when they're going opposite ways, they throw themselves up off the ground so to switch. And gator horses, they just move their sides so they don't have to pick themselves up. They just move so they are a whole lot smoother. <laughs> a whole lot smoother <laughs> than trotting horses. <laughs> And that one, they make, they're easier to ride than trotting horses. Ah. That's the difference. It's past. Oh, but, and he is much faster than him because he doesn't have to move both sides separately. He just runs. Like, when you're running, you move your arms separate, you move your arms separately with the different legs you're going with, and it makes it easier. But if you were running like this, you can't really do that because it's like a whole lot more difficult than this. And switching makes it easier for them to run faster and for a longer time. Okay.